Hello guys, we're back for another lesson in Google Drive. The digital learning tool that we will be working with today is called Google Drawings. So within Google Drawings, the learning task will be for the kids to label the volcano that I have here. So they're going to be clicking and dragging these labels over here to the right. Make sure you see the crosshair when you hover over the label in order to move the actual object. So the main vent, I'm going to land this right here simply because this arrow is pointing down here to the main vent. So let's go ahead and choose ash cloud. Looking for the crosshair and the ash cloud is going to be here so I'm going to place that there. You can also push this out through Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and look at how to create something like this. So I'm going to open up a new document which will be drawing and the thing that we want to always 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 do first is that's right title it so I'm just gonna give this a name where I can pretty much get rid of it later and you can name yours whatever you like and in order to get rid of the checkerboard background here of the canvas let's just go ahead and right click on the canvas where we see background and then I'm going to give it a how about a nice soft lilac color and what we are going to do here is we're going to and I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to place our instructions here so in order to do that we need to actually click on our text box which is on our toolbar and we're going to create some instructions go ahead and type in the instructions that you want but because I'm not a fast typer I love copy and paste. So you have your instructions there and then you want to create actual labels. So how do you do that? So what I like to do is go ahead and create another text box clicking on my toolbar here and when I create my labels let's say I want this one to be called crust and I pretty much know that that's the size font that I want to use so I'm gonna pretty much minimize that and this is pretty much the size that I want all of my text boxes to be if I find that there's a term that's too large I'll just simply change the font size so now I'm going to click on my text box when I see that crosshair and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. So let's go ahead and paste about that many. That way I have the same size text box for all of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and give this, let's call this a lava, and let's move this text box. Remember this is a working canvas, so I can pretty much move stuff wherever I like. And I'm going to call this the throat and Let's go ahead and move this one over here and let's call this one, how about the side vent and let's just call this one the magma chamber and I'll just go ahead and get rid of this one here for the sake of time. So let's go ahead and line these terms up here and I like how you get these actual lines that tell you how close you are to the other, like the red line there tells me I'm close to that red text box there so I'm going to move it away a bit but you can also one thing I forgot to add let's put in some color to distinguish the difference of those actual text boxes so I'm looking for my paint tool or my background color field tool so I'm going to click on that and let's just make those yellow and usually when I do this I go ahead and do it at the beginning so I can copy and paste the uh, same box so for example if I'm gonna copy this one all of my boxes will already have that yellow so I normally do that at the beginning when I first started to copy it you know saves time so I don't have to do it now so let's go ahead and do that so now we can better see where we're going to align our actual objects which are, which are the terms and see how this helps us to pres position those terms fairly easy make sure you have the crosshairs that's the one thing you want to have when you're moving those objects and there you go that one's a little bit off looks like but no it's okay but I'm gonna move it up a bit 
How's that? Alrighty. So we have that. And so let's go ahead and insert the image for our actual volcano. And the internet is moving a little slow and that's okay. So I'm going to upload an image and I'm looking for, I do have some things that have volcanoes. So let's go here and click on that. Once it populates, you just go in. It's going to say select, but hey, it went in there automatically. So, and that's probably because I double clicked and it's just that simple. That took us, what, relatively less than 10 minutes to do. And it's really that easy. You can share this with your students over here. Go to the share button. If you created those groups, send it to that group. If you haven't, you need to do that, people. Alrighty, and we're done.